As the leader, you get to decide what values your company holds, and you're the one who chooses what you are going to allow or create in your company culture. In times of crisis, in times of great challenge, it is your values that hold your team and your company together. Unfortunately, most leadership teams couldn't list their values, let alone live them out in the midst of a heated discussion about the future of a struggling company and about the safety of all of its employees. So what do you do? You need to take some time and get together with your team and get everyone on the same page regarding the core values that you share and the conflict norms within the team. If you've not worked on your values in a while, now's the time. And I know it's difficult to spend this precious time we have right now on something as abstract as values. There's real fires that you need to put out. But there will always be fires to put out, and there will be even more fires if you don't take this proactive step now to stop many of those fires in the future before they ever start. Additionally, times of crisis, it has a tendency to highlight our differences. But recentering on your values will actually draw your team together by helping them to focus not on what's different, but what they share in common. It gives you an opportunity to approach each discussion from a a place of singular shared commitment by everyone on your team. Finally, your values are most valuable in times of uncertainty. You see, we don't have the data or the past experience that we need to know how to move forward right now. But strong values will give you a framework of principles that will give you the best chance of making the right choices at this critical time. It's also easier to defend and even correct wrong choices that were made this way. Because you made a choice that was consistent with your values, that's going to allow you to maintain the personal integrity and the moral authority to pivot, and your whole team will stay with you, made stronger by that experience. Your values, they create the context for every decision that you make, but they don't guarantee you'll make the right decision. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to greatly improve the quality of your decision-making and execution by focusing on what I call active prioritization.